Depression. It's our leading disability, affecting some 300 million people worldwide. And at least half of those people can't find lasting relief with medication. Lee Cowan examines a new treatment that could be a breakthrough. In her garden outside San Francisco, Deirdre Lehman tries to keep her demons at bay. I'm technically bipolar. For most of her life, medication and therapy have helped keep her depression under control. You can have episodes of a quiet time where the disease doesn't appear. But when it does appear, for Deirdre, it's like tumbling headfirst into depression's deepest abyss. I just drop off a cliff. Clark, her <laughs> husband, says one of the scariest episodes came back in 2018. It wasn't just depressed, it was suicidal in a matter of hours. I said, Clark, oh my God, the chatter's starting and I can feel it's coming. Um, this negative chatter about no one's gonna love me, I'm ugly, I'm a burden. No one would miss me if I killed myself. That's what the chatter was telling you. The chatter was telling me this. Clark hid all the knives, all the pills too. You finally told my family, and then as each of them called, I said goodbye. I wanted to die. This is a brain emergency, right? And we need to meet this with a really significant intervention. So we she was referred to Dr. Nolan Williams, the director of Stanford University's Brain Stimulation Lab in Palo Alto, California. He was running a trial for an experimental treatment using targeted magnetic stimulation. It's called SAINT. That stands for Stanford Accelerated Intelligent Neuromodulation Therapy. We treat it like a brain disease. We find the spot to stimulate the brain back into to not being suicidal, not being depressed. You can see the progress in photos of Deirdre's first SAINT treatments, just days after the suicidal crisis began. She went from a blank stare to eating to actually smiling all in one day. I had no chatter, none. Within 24 hours, she was totally normal. Were you surprised? Initially, I couldn't believe it, and I, at some point, it just struck me that we'd found something that was really, really important. The American Journal of Psychiatry just published the findings of Saint's latest clinical trial. Almost 80% of the study's participants saw their severe depression go into remission. That's huge, right? Yeah, it's huge, it's huge. You feel that there's no light in your life. And how long were you living that way? <sighs> it's been there all my life, <laughs> since I was 20. One of Dr. Williams' first patients was 83-year-old Merle Becker, who tried everything to relieve her depression. How many different kinds of treatments were you on? Meds for more fingers than you have on your hand. She's a therapist herself, specializing in depression, so she knows what she's talking about. Most people with a history of depression, particularly serious depression, feel a sense of shame. This is something very deep inside, a heaviness in your body. You're in a tunnel and there's no way out. Her husband, Bill, has been by her side for 41 years, and he's seen firsthand how Saint makes Merle feel more in control. OK, we're going to start you, OK? OK, I'm ready. Saint builds on existing therapies for depression called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. But it uses a targeted and fast-acting approach. Dr. Williams uses an MRI to pinpoint the exact spot in Merle's brain that is underactive in her depression and stimulate it with a magnetic coil. We're trying to upregulate or kind of buff up the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex back to its normal state so it has a sense of control. So what you're basically doing is, is telling this to turn that off. Yeah, that's right. Saint's magnetic pulses are set to replicate the way the brain communicates with itself. And repetition of those pulses essentially teaches the brain how to maintain its balance. All of a sudden, they're looking at you in the eyes. They're smiling more spontaneously. And then by the end of the week, they are telling you they feel totally well and, and back to their, their normal self. How you doing? Fine. It can be exhausting, yeah. and it's really a one-time thing. Merle has been doing maintenance treatments periodically for the last four years. 
Okay, did it go good? Mm, but so far, Let's go. no serious side effects. By the third day, it was like, <laughs> Dad, you feel better. Now, there are two larger trials of Saint underway, funded by the National Institutes of Health, including one that is testing Saint in a hospital setting during a brain emergency, like a suicidal episode. Essentially, they're under observation. Right? That's right. They're under observation. And the scary statistic is the highest likelihood of a subsequent suicide attempt or completion is in those months after the discharge. Dr. Williams sees Saint as something that hospitals could use as almost a fast-acting antidepressant to stabilize suicidal patients who may, after a week of intensive treatments, leave the hospital feeling safe. It really changes not just numbers on a page, but, but kind of people's perspective about their life, right? They'll turn around and say, you know what? I, I feel totally differently about my depression now. I'm empowered. Deirdre Lehman's perspective became bright again. She went back to school to finish her college degree. Do you feel depressed anymore? No. Not at all? Not at all. Not at no. all. This intervention is something that has shown them that it's really their brain. It's not something about you know, them personally, that, that deep self, but it's really a, a brain disease that, that we, can, we can identify and, and really treat and move. For Merle Becker, it's given her something she hasn't had in a long, long while. Hope. Hope? Hope. I hope the younger me is out, out there watching this. Recently, the FDA gave Saint breakthrough status, which means it's one step closer to becoming available. So where do you see this treatment going in five, 10 years? It will change the world. I think that's a, yes. a big game statement. Changer. Oh, it's a game changer. Researchers generally don't like to go too far out on the game changer limb, but Dr. Nolan Williams hopes he's inching closer every day. It feels like it could be. It's at a point now where I think we have enough data to say it, it's real, you know, and it does what we've seen in other folks' hands, it very well could be.